Let's see. Uh, General, seems like I can't change your mind about this battle no matter what I say. <laughs> Maybe we should save our talk for after. Zhao Cho, don't just focus on exercising your intellect. Take some care of yourself, too. I will fight alongside you until the very end. I'll handle what's in front. You look after everything behind us. Planning before acting doesn't quite fit your personality, does it? What prey would require the attention of two generals? <laughs> Let me see for myself. You're much calmer than you once were. Madame Yukong, looks like we're fighting side by side again. I'm honored to fight alongside you, Merlin's Claw. I see that you have remarkable potential. How about trying a round of hand-to-hand -hand combat? Getting to fight alongside the great General Fei Shao is even getting old metal pumped up! We'll wait for the right moment, then hit him hard on the head with a stick. Nice form. Shall we compete to see how fast our hunts are? Charge! Leave none standing! Your call. I can take either side. The creature in the burner is quite impressive. Can we use it as a decoy? Despite all the hardships Elder Hua Yan has faced, he still finds joy in the world. He is an example every general should follow. The Merlin's Claw versus the Seish Queller. <laughs> Many in the Alliance enjoy this kind of spectacle, and truthfully, so do I. When it comes to strategic brilliance and decisive outcomes, I wonder who would win, Jing Yuan or Yao Guang? Oof, what an amazing kid! Way more gifted than I was. If I were to mentor him, I'd surely turn him into a legendary warrior general. Unfortunately, his master doesn't follow this path. But I suppose having both wisdom and bravery is even more commendable. Old Master Huayan is so shrewd, yet the child he brought up is so forthright. <sighs> it's a shame I can't devote myself entirely to mentoring a disciple. And I... Probably won't ever get it in this lifetime. Ah, I granted him permission to assassinate me anytime he wished. Lately, his attempts have become less frequent, but his accuracy has improved significantly. Good effort, but patience is key. The time for the perfect strike has yet to come. Doc Zhao always complains that his face looks untrustworthy and people think he has too many crafty ideas. But when push comes to shove, you can absolutely depend on those ideas. An eye for an eye. 
and a hundred times more. The most important skill for sorting out a mess is being tough and ruthless. Don't be deceived by her ethereal appearance. She has what it takes to put the Lawfu's alchemy commission back in order. That girl had some martial training already, so it makes sense she'd come to the Xianzhou to learn swordsmanship. She sure is dashing, but she lacks bravery. <laughs> What's wrong with my axe? Not good enough for her? <laughs> Even after all this time, being by her side makes me feel like a young fox again. Perhaps it's because she's become more... affectionate with age. I'm Fei Xiao, General of the Xianzhou Yao Qing. Now that we're acquainted, should the Astral Express run into any trouble, feel free to contact me. The Yao Qing will be there in an instant. Uh, you're here. <laughs> then let's get straight to business. I'm heading out. I hope the next time we meet, we'll both have several more victories to our names. The Merlin's Claw is what's written in the books, and the Vanquishing General is what people call me. The former sounds too formal, the latter too exaggerated. Neither suits me. I prefer my own title, the Lacking General, lacking in worries, regrets, and rivals. Moon Rage isn't so much a disease as it is my past and future. One can let go of the past, but must always face the future. It is my blood, born from Moon Rage, coursing through my veins. The more I wield it, the more it grows. Yet for the sake of the Sienjo's triumph, I have no reason to pause. God of the Skybow, let's have a competition. My speed outpaces that of a shooting star. Life is ephemeral, and I only wish to be a piercing arrowhead. To be the hunt until my very last breath. When I run, time seems to flow especially slowly. Being able to think at a leisurely pace is quite nice for someone with my impatience. I used to enjoy a drink with General UAU. We called it a small drink, but I could only take small sips while she would down cup after glass without pause. Now, whenever I raise a glass, I can't help but think of her, and I find myself drinking faster and faster without realizing. There will come a day when the abominations are completely eliminated. That's a given. But will we live to see that day? I feel more regret than worry at that prospect. The Yao Qing and the IPC collaborate on many things. There's no denying it. This also means when we fight the abominations, the IPC must support us unreservedly. Abominations don't care about who owns this planet and will happily wreck a multi-trillion credit industry. And our friends at the IPC are not the charitable type. I once followed the trail of a shooting star, and in doing so, I found freedom. But the place where it fell is no longer there. Set me aflame. Let's find out if you can reduce me to cinders. Keep running forward. For this path has no end. Merely reaching the finish line is nowhere near enough. Too slow. I can go even faster. Let's see. Let's see. 